I came to Flag obviously to get the store. That was the main thing. But obviously, Flag stuff has everything you need, all sorts of stores and whatever as well. Our 2022 Grand Design has yet another problem. show you guys how cold it is up here in Flagstaff. Okay, so it's kind of sunny, but it's kind of sleeting a little bit. What is up y'all? My name is Jesse. Thanks for joining us today on our channel known as Adventure Endeavor. So my wife Melissa is traveling to Hawaii. We have actually split up for the next three weeks. Oh God, please no, no! I know, kind of crazy. Crazy to us too. Today I am going to be going to Flagstaff, Arizona to pick up something that has been needed for a very long time. So we are gonna be finally putting solar on our 2022 Grand Design Imagine. We have had solar on two other rigs and we didn't keep the rigs long. So we had the Nash, we had the truck camper. We didn't wanna do solar because we knew we weren't gonna keep those long term. Now that we got a baby on the way, we definitely wanna get this rig set up so that we can have power all the time. It's been a long time. We've been using our Lion Safari LT to power up all of our computers and everything like that. And then this grand design has one 165 watt panel on the roof. And we also have three Lion Energy lithium batteries. We'll link all the Lion stuff in the description below if you wanna check it out. But we're excited. We're building a very big system. We have friends that are gonna be helping us install it probably in about a month from now, but I'm just getting all the parts today. The system's gonna be, I believe, 2165 watts, two Victron 3000 watt inverters, obviously our three Lion Energy batteries. Yeah, we should pretty much be able to run whatever we want, which is gonna be great especially when we have the kid i call it the kid because we are waiting to find out the gender until it's born that's what the video is going to be all about i'm going to go pick up all of that stuff get it loaded in the pickup truck kind of show you guys like what we're getting talk about a few of the things as they're being loaded and whatnot i'm a little west of flagstaff more near williams and it's you know it snowed this morning and it is probably going to be snowing in flagstaff today so it's an adventure always on this channel This is super exciting. Went through everything, made sure everything was here. Got a lot of the smaller items just in the truck or in the back seat of the truck. And he's gonna throw the panels on a pallet. I believe they will be safer that way. That's what he said. I mean, obviously I'm gonna have to get rid of a pallet, which is a bummer, but I can cut it up for firewood, burn most of it. Obviously I won't burn the nails. When we get back to our camp, I'll kind of go through everything and show you guys like what we're getting. Like I said, our friends at Nomad Mods are gonna be installing this, so we'll link their website below. So if you're looking for a solar star, you can hit them up. I also picked up a new set of ratchet straps because for some reason, they always seem to disappear. I just wanna show you guys how cold it is up here in Flagstaff. Right now, it's 11 a.m. and I think it's about 35 degrees. That's why I decided to camp a little bit lower elevation. I like the cold and it's plenty cold where I am, but I don't want to deal with pipes freezing, all that kind of stuff. That ain't going nowhere. 
hopefully not famous last words. We got six panels on the roof here. I came to Flag obviously to get the solar, that was the main thing, but obviously Flag stuff has everything you need, all sorts of stores and whatever. As well, our 2022 Grand Design has yet another problem, not the end of the world. We kind of knew this buying a new rig, people always talk about that, but basically our water heater stopped working and there are these thermal cutoff. It's kind of like an inline fuse, but it basically detects temperature. I called Grand Design and they're like, yeah, that's a problem, blah, 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 blah. They, they go out on those water heaters for some reason, but they did state that the replacements normally are good. They think they had a bad batch. They were super helpful. Uh, they were $29, but Grand Design said, just go ahead and upload your receipt and we'll reimburse you. So that's nice. And I also called Dometic and they said, you do need to use that thermal cutoff because I bypassed it and then the water heater worked just to try it. So I got two of them, so I have a spare now, but just another thing that's been an issue with the trailer. But like I said, they were super helpful, which was nice. It's nice to have a company that backs up their product even when there's been quite a few issues to be honest um, luckily I can fix a lot of it myself uh, shout out to rally RV and Flagstaff for having the part um, they were great they held it for me and yeah I just wanted to kind of share that with you guys made it back to camp everything seems good I always you know get a little nervous when you leave camp anyways I'm gonna kind of show you guys quickly a quick rundown of what we got for the trailer three of these bad boys so these are charge controllers they're 150 Victrons we went with the Victron stuff. Supposedly it's the best, so time will tell. We got three of those. What the heck are these? I don't know. These are something. I didn't really put the order together. This is a smart shunt, so we can be able to tell what type of power we're getting. We got some fuse blocks. We got terminal ends, different size. We got breakers, 60 amps. We also have some 15 amps fuses, 480 volt. We got uh, some cable with some MC4 connectors. We got three strands of that. And then we got some 4 aught and some, I don't know what the other one is. Basically we got a lot of thick wire that we're gonna need for wiring the system up. All right, so for panels, we got some REC panels. They are 365 watts each, and we have six of them. So that's gonna put us, uh, I think it's like 2165 or something like that. They're pretty big, they should fit. I measured, if I measured correctly, one, two, three, four, five, six. We're definitely gonna have quite a bit of sun coming in. So uh, we're excited about this. They loaded them up on here. Seems, seems pretty good so far. So we have two of these, two of the 3000 volt, or not volt, 120 volt, 3000 watt inverter. So I was lucky enough to get one of these used from a really good buddy. Um, so we saved some money on that and then we bought one new. We are doing dual 3000 watt inverters. Our trailer is technically a 50 amp and we want to be able to run our air conditioner at some point in time, at least during peak day. And I think that's totally possible. Like I said, I am not doing this install. I will be documenting the install. Nomad Mods, our buddies, will be doing the install. I'll be there, obviously, documenting. I just feel a little more confident in their work. Everything's gonna be wired in to, to everything is gonna work completely in all the outlets. Uh, it's just going to be way more legit if they do it. So you guys will meet them shortly. There's a few more items that I got off Amazon. Some uh, deep, uh, what the heck, deep sea marine battery shutoffs. Yeah, we're super excited to finally have solar again, have a big system. We just really wanted a little bit of overkill with the baby on the way. We don't want to have to think about power whatsoever.